Hello everybody. Let's talk about ships that can build themselves in Space Engineers. Now the problem with Space Engineers and trying to build a ship that builds itself is that projections cannot include any kind of arms. Nothing that's on the end of a um, uh, of a rotor or a piston can get included. Which means that it's really, really rough to try and build anything that unfolds or has a moving printing apparatus. So, building a ship that prints itself is kind of tough. I'm going to show you the basic idea about how to do it with the simplest kind of ship that can print itself, and that is this little guy. So up here we've got a, uh, a print ahead. This is our, this is our uh, projector. And then we've got a generator, and then we've got a merge block. Merge blocks are the only kind of articulated blocks that survive the printing process. And to call them articulated is... Um, rather overly kind. They, they are articulated in that you can move them away from yourself. You can, <laughs> you can detach them. Uh, so it'd be better to have a rotor, but we'll live with these guys for now. The rest of this ship is just a simple print assembly and some engines. And then back here we've got... Wait, this looks familiar. A projector, a generator, and a merge block. Projector, generator, and a merge block. That's right, the front of the ship and the back of the ship are identical. And the point of that is uh, we are going to print the ship by simply reversing. There's no complicated spinning, um, there's no need to actually move in any kind of considerate manner. We're just going to back straight up. Now when you build a ship to do this, you have to keep in mind that you're building it so that you just back straight up. And that means there are two big restrictions. The first big restriction is that you can't be more than one large block above or below the build heads. So I've only got one row of build heads, which means my ship can't be more than three blocks high. The other big restriction is that you can't have any structural elements that need to get built uh, before other stuff but are behind other stuff. Uh, the, the thing I'm talking about here is this cargo pod. In order to print this cargo pod, our print heads are going to have to be back here. And by the time they're back here, it's too late to print all of these engines up here. So that cannot be a structural element. It would just get in the way. So I guess you can say all structural elements should be one block long. And uh, in this case, the actual structural element is this side VAM brace. So I've actually already set it up and the printer here, the projector, is already set up to print this exact ship and I've overlaid it exactly. To show you that it's overlaid, I've actually rotated it 180 degrees, I've rolled it 180 degrees, and you can see the two components that aren't mirrored show up quite clearly in the right spot so we know everything is ready. And we'll just go in and get this game started. So, first thing we need to do is turn on our heads. We, we don't have to, we can do that second, but it's easy enough. And then we need to detach. You see how we went all shimmery? We're now moving away. So we're going to turn our inertial dampeners off, and the key here is you don't want to rotate your ship at all. You just want to float gracefully backwards. Now I could have made this front end have like stabilizers and stuff, and that would have been really critical if we were ever going to move at all. But we're not, we're just going to float straight backwards. Doop, 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 doop. So you can see we've just built out our build heads, and now we're about to start on the side van brace. There we go, getting it started. Now these build heads, um, these welders, are not the most polite things. They will often weld themselves into a corner. That's why, see there, I just did it. If we were rotating to try and build this ship, we would be rotating the build heads into those structures and we would be royally screwed right about now. So it's best to avoid doing that. We're about to build the uh, the primary cargo bay. Just floating gracefully backwards. Now I'm going to turn our merge block back on. You'll see why in a moment, although you might be able to guess. Alright, so we've got all of our stuff built. And all we have to do now is just back up. We 
we're into the rear mirror. There's our duplicate projector. There's our duplicate generator. And here is our duplicate merge block. And here we are. Clunk. We just connected. Yay! So, this is a twinned ship. It works fine. You have to make sure there's enough space between the front, uh, you know, the, the, the engines that fire forward and backward so they don't damage anything. I'm not sure I did that properly here because I didn't really care. But this is the sort of thing you can pull off with this kind of setup. Now, of course, we can still break the merge system and we can figure it out, you know, we can do whatever we need to do in terms of uh, splitting these ships up or recombining them. And I can also just print again by separating at the merge block again. So it's really quite straightforward. Uh, so if I were just to get off here and go up here... Oh, it's on the other side, right? I could do the exact same thing I did before. Separate the front little merge head and then back up. I can do the same from the rear ship. Um, you can separate the middle head there. It all works fine because all of these ships are basically identical clones of each other. Well, that's how you do ship cloning. It's not very useful, unfortunately, because you cannot print arms. If only you could print arms. Oh well. It's a fun thought experiment.